Hi everybody, a uh, video today is about altering the clock and the settings on the instruments on the VFR 1200. Uh, mainly that uh, clock there in the middle, showing 8.59 at the moment. I'm making this video primarily for the people that don't have the original owner's handbook. This one's for the 2012 model. Um, and who can't find the, uh, the uh, settings online. Okay, so to change that clock that's now showing 9 o'clock, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to press in button B whilst I'm switching the ignition on. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm pressing button B. I'm pressing button B and holding it and I'm switching on the ignition. And there we see the, the hour is flashing. I can then advance that hour by pressing B again to 10. And I can press A to obviously alter it to the minutes. And then I can increase the minutes by pressing button B again. And if I want to set it, I can either just switch the ignition off or I'll just press button A again. And there it's set. Another one you may not know how to do is to change the um, clocks from miles to kilometers. I'm just going to press button B again to get to the odometer. There we are. At the moment I've got miles. My, uh, uh, miles per hour on the speedo. So if I hold in both button B and button A together, see if I can do that with one hand. It's a bit of a stretch. I think I need those two. That's it. If I press them and hold them in together, you'll see that mild change to, well, it'll flash initially. There we go. I press button B again, and we go to kilometers. And there's kilometers. And then I simply press button A to set it. I'll go back to miles and miles per hour. Hold the two buttons in and then press button B to go back to miles and miles per hour and then set with A again. You'll notice the average fuel consumption and the other units on that um, will also alter. Now as you will have seen on my lights video, if I want to dim the lights for any reason, not sure why you'd want to, but I have them on bright. If I want to dim the display, sorry, not the lights. Oops, I've just knocked on my main beam there. This filming lurks, not that easy. Uh, if I want to alter the uh, brightness of the uh, display, I simply press and hold in button B and we get those five knots there and then I press B, B, B and you can see it's dimming, press it again and then we're back to normal and I think I just, what do I do, keep that like that, I think I just press button A to set it, let's have a look, yeah, okay, um, little thing about the fuel display on the 2012 model, you'll notice it's on average miles um, per litre there which is 9.7 mile per litre and if I change it it goes to naught showing nothing or it goes to my average whilst I'm riding but because I'm not riding it's not showing anything. However what I what I uh, was fathomed by initially when I bought the bike was that it's supposed to have a countdown range on it. I didn't realise the countdown doesn't show until all your segments of the fuel has got down to the very last one. When your very last block is shown, it flashes, and then this display will include a countdown range. So often it goes to say 30 miles or 50 kilometers. You can press the button again, and it will go to um, the remaining capacity in the tank. So just to recap, the remaining range won't come on until the last block on the display starts flashing. Um, so I hope that helps. 
Oh, one last thing as well about the clock. This is quite useful. When you switch off the uh, clocks um, or the engine, that clock stays on for about 12 or 24 hours. It's always showing. Uh, so I'm going to switch off the um, ignition in a second. It'll go dark and then I'll show you that that clock actually stays on. So if I just pick up my torch, you'll see that the clock is still displayed there for a while. It's quite handy that when you're at bike meets or something, you know, and um, you just want to glance over at the time. It's quite useful. Okay, so I hope that's been of use. Um, as I say, it's just a quick one and um, hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching again.